Innovation is really essential for the development of companies, society, or for humanity at large. It always has been. When I think about innovation, I think about it at multiple levels. There's the type of innovation that many, perhaps most people think about, which is the step change uh, development of some new way of you know, developing a product or performing a service. That is true. But there's another type of innovation which is equally important, which is the gradual evolution of new ways of doing things. And it, only if we continuously challenge the way we do things on a day-to-day -day basis will we see further competitiveness uh, in companies or in society. Europe really isn't uh, driving innova the innovation agenda as hard as it should, and as a result, the competitiveness of Europe has been falling behind. And this is not because we don't have the right capabilities in the human talent that we have in Europe. On the contrary, we have a highly uh, educated workforce. If we could harness the capabilities of all these individuals in a different way, uh, make sure that we have the appropriate funding, make sure we have the appropriate incentive systems around them, we would see a lot of very positive things come out of uh, the innovation agenda in Europe. Innovation is an essential component of any company's success for sure. Some companies use innovation to really be the leaders in thinking through the next generation of technology that offers uh, you know, certain products or services to the markets. Whereas other companies have a different ability to innovate, which is perhaps more being a fast follower uh, to what has already been developed elsewhere and proven. Both those models can work. Both those models can generate a lot of value. And so really being sharp on understanding what is the basis for the role innovation plays in your company and hence defining the capabilities required to be successful with that type of innovation is really important.